He says, wherever you're going, never take an Egypt with you. <laughs> no, but that's no way. Hello, what's that crack? What's the story? Welcome up or welcome back to the channel. We're checking out some Billy Connolly, the lovely, the handsome Billy Connolly. This was back in 1997. This is Limo Driver. Let's go. I was going to the television station, you know that, uh, the late show, Gay Bernie. And, and they sent for me, they sent a limousine. And uh, it's a pram, really, you know. <laughs> <laughs> the only reason they sent them is we could never find our way anywhere. Where the fuck is it? <laughs> and they sent this limo, and I went down, and I was amazed there was no one in it. And uh, so I just get in, I thought, this must be it. And I get in, and, and I was amazed that the radio was on. So music was playing. And I slammed the door, and the driver sat up. He'd been lying in the front seat. <laughs> having a kip with his hat over his eyes, you know. And when I came in, he, he leant forward to, to turn the radio down. I said, no, no, leave it, it's brilliant. Turn it up a wee bit, as a matter of fact. And he whacked it up, and it was that Irish, folky sort of Planksty. Remember that band, Planksty? I thought it was them, you know. And I loved them, and it was, it was really hammering on that kind of threatening stuff with a drum. Right? <laughs> And it's whacking away there, and I went, yee, that'll do me, off we go, whoosh. We're driving along, and the record came to an end. And the DJ waffled on about a competition or some fucking thing, the way they do it. And, uh, and I says to the, he didn't say who it was, you know, and I said to the driver, was that Planksty? His answer will go to my grave with me. <laughs> he said, I don't know, I don't normally work Friday nights. I don't really get that. I don't know. I don't normally work Friday nights. But that blank, is that blank? I don't really get that. Please, that went over my head. Normally, I get most Billy Connolly jokes. Hopefully, I get it now. But someone, please explain down below, please. Please, thank you. <laughs> I was starting to get frightened. I'm thinking, this guy thinks every Friday in the radio is exactly the fucking same. Isn't it? Ooh, I think, I think. Isn't that astonishing? I was in Belfast. Another limo driver, a brilliant guy called Billy. He was my driver. A local guy, a Belfast man. We're driving along, and, he, and like all Irishmen, he, he lied a lot. No, and I don't mean that in a malicious way at all. They'll tell you a lie to make you feel better. You know, to soothe your journey a little. Like if, you, if you're walking, or hiking along, and there's a farmer and his wife, and you say, how far to Dublin? The farmer will say, 12 miles. And his wife will say, for Christ's sake, he's walking. Tell him it's six. <laughs> you know, that kind of thing. Just a, <laughs> six. It's a gentle, <laughs> helpful kind of lying, you know. <laughs> so Billy... Billy was, oh, and his wife. His wife was wonderful. She was like a kind of, she looked like a hooker, actually. She kind of, she would chew it all the time. And she had jangly, sparkly clothes on, you know, and very short skirts and like red shoes and big shiny lips like she'd been eating chips all night. <laughs> and, and, and big charm bracelets that went ching, 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 ching every time she moved, big red nails. And she was like in perpetual motion. Look. I'd never seen it like her since I was a child. You know, the hookers in my hometown all did that. Hello, say like. <laughs> and we used to run past them when we were wee boys and say, hey, missus, you left your engine running. <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs> I'll kick you in ass. Right. So Billy says, my wife wants to come to the gig, would that be okay? I said, of course it would. Just see him about the tickets, see the manager there. No problem at all. Any particular night, just tell him, bloody blah, blah, big shot, you know. He says, uh, she wants to come in a limo. How do you feel about that? I said, no problem at all. Kind of easy peasy poo. I thought she would be in the front with him. <laughs> <laughs> Looking in the back. Hi, Bill.
and smell of Estee Lauder. You kind of get it off you, you know. <laughs> smell. I said, oh, hello, how are you doing? Yeah, hello. And she was very funny and really nice. But she kept opening the limo windows on the way into Belfast <laughs> and saying, I'm in here with Billy Conley. <laughs> <laughs> Billy, wave to them, come on! I'm going, fucking, hello! <laughs> Jesus! I must tell you, he used to make up old Irish sayings, and I would be on my knees, and I'm supposed to believe this shit, you know? We're driving to the gig one night, and he says, you know, Billy, I'm amazed that uh, you don't have a car yourself, you know, a nice car and a driver and stuff to take you around. I said, oh, I used to have that. I, I gave all that up. Why? I said, I like being myself, you know, just take the beer roads and have a nice life, you know. I said, and I was getting fed up with the driver. And he says, was he an idiot? He was an idiot. No. In actual fact, the guy was a nice block, my driver. But to cut a long story short, you know, I said, yeah, but bit of an idiot. <laughs> he says, you know, we have an old saying here in Northern Ireland. Okay. I said, oh, really? And he took a wee while, so I knew he was making it up. <laughs> I could see the bits moving in the back of the head there. <laughs> he says, wherever you're going, never take an Egypt with you. <laughs> but no, but that's no it, that's only the beginning. He says, wherever you're going, never take an Egypt with you. You can always pick one up when you get there. <laughs> <laughs> Wherever you go, we never take an Egypt with you. Oh, Lord. I haven't heard the word Egypt in a long time. It's a big Irish saying. It's a big Irish word. It's, a, it's saying idiot, but in an Irish way. But yeah, I keep saying it. It's, like, he comes up with this kind of stories that only Billy Connolly could come up with. Like, anyone else could say that story, and I wouldn't find that half funny. Like, there was one line I didn't get in the beginning. I can't remember what he said. No, I didn't really get that. We were towards the end. It really, really made me chuckle. I really enjoyed that. Yeah, if you guys want to see more, more, more Billy Connolly, more Scottish comedy, Irish comedy, British comedy, please, please comment down below. I'm doing loads. I'm posting at least twice a day. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you push the notification button, the bell, so you do know when I post. So, because YouTube doesn't really tell you every single time when I do post. But yeah, thanks for the support, and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.